Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Let's sail this galleon out and then load the treasure on it. And go to London. Give me my 2P gold. They certainly earned it. They reaped what they had sown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. English privateer damage. Alright. Fair enough. Two, three. One, two, three. Let's see if they're really lucky. Yep, they're really lucky. I think they've earned that that qualification. They are really lucky. I do not need a fur trader. You are no longer a master fur trader. You are some guy. All right. Roanoke, definitely need horses there. Let's see. Oh, I didn't, I sent Roanoke's artillery to Quebec. Oh well. What can you do? Oh look, they have their own artillery. Very good. Very good idea to have artillery. Mighty Conquistador Hunter, blah blah blah. Get out of my land. Good. Rum. Let's see if I can trade this rum with someone. Three. Alright, I don't know where I'm taking this guy. No, I'm just going maybe. Yeah, maybe. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Alright. You are going to stay here. You, on the other hand, are going to attack. This Dragoon. Yeah, you got shot. That's right. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. You were defeated. And we got 600 gold from the Toopy. Toopy gold. Sounds like some kind of chewing tobacco or something. Toopy gold. Trade this rum with the Toopy. All right, I'll I'll accept that much for this rum. Horses, really? Hey, pretty cool. They will actually sell me horses. 180 gold for 31 horses. Well, that's probably not a great price, but I'll pay it. Just because I need horses. This guy needs to be remusketed and rehorsed. Alright. That guy has been horsed. One, two, and I can't go any further. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Don't know what to do with that particular colonist. You're joining our colony. Parlez-vous anglais? Oh, I don't know who's going to win this one. We are. Quebec probably has significant defenses. We only just scratched the surface of them. One, two, three. Just fortify here. Horses party? Ugh. Terrible. I have to go through this again. A hundred tons of horses? More than a hundred tons of horses? I don't know. Mine depleted near Plymouth. Oh, that's bad. That means we don't get... The minerals are no longer here anymore, so we don't get as much ore. 
we're getting eight. Sixteen? Yeah, sixteen. That's a shame. But, you know, it happens. Alright, so we built the custom house. We don't really need any of this other stuff, so I'm just going to build our artillery. Now, as for the custom house, I won't sell sugar, but I will sell tobacco. Oh, no, I don't want to sell ore. Silver, rums, garstro. Alright, that's, that looks good. And I'll see if I can capture some cargo here. No. No, I can't. up there eventually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Wait. Right, I'll move up. Dragoons. Alright, well, that was one piece of artillery. We've got three dragoon, dragoons here in Roanoke, none in Plymouth, so I'll move one guy to Plymouth. New France, yeah, you're confused. There are no pirates. I will agree to a partition, especially if you give me a tribute. Alright. The French want peace. And stay out! Hobscott's built a schoolhouse. Well, may as well get on with the fort. What can I do with a schoolhouse? Not much here because I don't really have anyone that's able to. that's able to. train a skill. A new cargo of tools is ready at Roanoke. Yeah, that's true. Alright. And a French privateer has dared to venture in front of our fortress. We have a lumberjack. Where do I need a lumberjack? Right there, I see it. One, two, three, four. Alright. This guy is going to go do something. This guy is going to cut lumber. I want to do something. Get out of the colony. I have enough colonists now to fully equip a whole different colony. Alright, there's a few more horses. Alright. This guy. Ship returns to London. Yeah, sure, London. Exactly what I was thinking. Three. French privateer damage. Alright. Two, three. Alright. Let me just. Hmm. Retreat. Oh. Mm, Alright. I'll withdraw then. I have a lot of free colonists just twiddling their thumbs. Aztecs are attacking Boston. And there are master tobacconists available. Which is totally useless because I do not have any tobacco producing colonies. There's just not that much tobacco land except in the central United States. Grassland is what it is. These are plains and this and we need grassland for tobacco. This stuff right here, this is grassland, good tobacco land. And if there's actually a tobacco leaf, see, this is a tobacco leaf. This is prime tobacco growing land. But I don't have any colonies over there. And I don't really think I'm going to build one. I guess I could, but I'd want, I don't know. It would be awkward at best. Is there any other prime tobacco land? I don't see any. Might be some somewhere, but I don't see any more. Just 
one place to grow tobacco in, in America. It's weird. Alright. This place needs more wood. There. More wood. This place needs a road. Fine, I'll just sit here. So. This place needs a farmer. Not really, but I'm gonna give them one. Can I just give these guys some... Can I just make them dragoons or something? Eesh. And the Dutch are apparently at war with the French. Baltimore produced docks at last. We can get a whole bunch more food from there. And we need a warehouse. Why don't you go here, and you go there. That works better. Alright. So can I actually use an expert farmer in Nobscot? No. Santo Domingo. Am I at war with anyone right now? No. The Dutch are pretty powerful. I'm so glad the Spanish are gone. I hate them. Usually the Dutch are the ones that withdraw, but it just depends on the game. Hmm. Alright, we have a new statesman in Plymouth. Same, same deal. Put another one that well actually put this put this one back here. And then insert another guy there. Train another one. One, two, three. Have all these guys skipping their turns. More dragoon. More dragoon. I don't need that many dragoons, but what can I do? Go to Santo Domingo. And the Aztecs apparently feel they're entitled to 50 muskets. Heck they are. They're not getting my muskets unless I sell them. Roanoke has produced a college. Oh, one more and you'll have a university and we can train another elder statesman guy. Santo Domingo is set to produce a printing press, but has already built one. Ah, yes. About that. <laughs> Make it a fortress. And I'll import the tools. Alright. Artillery are coming out reasonably quickly from Plymouth. Is anyone producing muskets around here? I could use some excellent quality muskets. Three, four. Here, give me those. I want to see what kind of a price I can get on muskets. Well, frankly, I can get 1400 from them in London, so I should probably just go with that. Go down here and link with the river. Link the road with the river. All right, there's an expert farmer here, so... So... This guy can just stand there for a second, and we'll make more food. And more Liberty Bells. More food, more Liberty Bells. Oh, and if there's tools in Plymouth, well, I kind of need the tools in Plymouth, but there's plenty of tools in Roanoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that galleon and grab some tools. And ship them to Santo Domingo for their fortress project. I'm going to have a look at the colony advisor. I need more defense in Boston. Go to Boston. Surprise! They're attacking Boston again! All 
right. All right, well, I don't have horses to replace those that were lost in Boston, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Go to Roanoke and load some tools. I'll take 200 of them. Pull the road there. Bartolme de las Casas has joined the Congress. He's the guy who looks like a monk in the very back. And all the in existing Indian converts are now free colonists. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they are now master blacksmiths in London. Hernando de Soto lost city rumors. I don't think there's any left. Well, there might be one on this island here. Hernan Cortez. Indian settlements always yield treasure and greater abundance and free transportation. Pocahontas. Natives are happy. William Penn. Cross production is increased by 50%. I'm going to go with William Penn. Ooh, look at that fat, fat cargo. I will take a hundred horses, and how about oh, cotton furs or sugar? How about a hundred ore? All right, Santo Domingo, because I'm just thinking about the prices. Cotton's worth four six, ore's worth five eight. I didn't have that memorized, but I just thought about it briefly. Santo Domingo, we need 200 tools. There you go. Now I have those fine muskets. Alright. Privateer has been repaired. This guy is what, a tobacconist or something like that? Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna bless this guy as a missionary. Praise God. Set sail for the new world with these guys. And Boston's produced artillery, that's useful. That's pretty much all I'm ever gonna produce from Boston ever again. And there's a new colonist in Santo Domingo. Right, that works. I don't know what to do with him. Put him here, I guess. And I can't hold any more ore in Plymouth. I'm getting eight and eight. That's 16 ore. How come, if they're only getting 16 ore, how come 20 tools aren't using it all. That's weird. Well, if you, well, no, I'm gonna leave that alone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Better not mess with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I know I can get. 1400 gold for those muskets in Europe. So I better get a good price on them here. Next time on Let's Play Colonization. Oh gosh, I don't know. Getting ready for war, I guess. Building a lot of artillery. Building custom houses. Building roads. Not much going on right now, but that will change. See you then.